Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a oh, snap. With a good view of the trail. It's time to rob some people. What is going on? Welcome back to another what video here today. Anyway, They're back on some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something in old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell he kept yapping about it saying how they've been hitting it on the regular that's a good lead in my book damn old triscolls are everywhere now bastards got a hold of most of big valley heard they took over some big ranch north of here how the hell you and lenny end up down here anyway oh you know how it is a few loose ends drink here drink there what loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. Dang, alright, so we just got done doing a... We, oh my god, that's English for you. We just got done doing a bank robbery, now we're gonna rob a stagecoach. This game's just full of robberies, and I love it, because I'm an outlaw. You know, living that outlaw life, you know me. All right, Micah, you don't have anything else to say? I don't like Micah. He just gives me a wrong vibe. And he's a freaking butt cheese, too. How much further is this? Whatchamacall? Stagecoach. There we go. I remember the, the, the name of it. Ah! I'm really tired, so if I, like, mess my words up, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. It is my brain's fault. Ridge. It's literally 2 a.m. and I'm playing this game. It's like my fifth video on it today. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here. Any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right. Oh, shoot. All right, we got our bandana on? We do. Let's go. I'm going to get this out because this thing's a beast. And let's go attack them. Oh, uh, okay. Get out of here, boy. Ooh. I think I got the driver. I think we're Ooh, right in the butt. Dang. It's going to hurt when you go to poop, even though he's dead. Dead people poop. Who knows? 
Ooh, I was trying to shoot at Micah. Hey, yo, you still on the stage, coach? Micah, move your giant head. There we go. Alright, gotcha. Let's do it. No need to keep your face covered now. I'm going to do it just because. Wait, do you want me to drive this? Is that what you're getting at? Alright, I thought we were going to like, ow, like loot it or something. Next time I'll leave you in the dust. There won't be a next time. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't mean... From me to you, that's more your style than mine. All right, we got a new gun. I can dig that. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention... We ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Don't ever say that ever again. <laughs> My gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this hall back in one piece. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! Yo, they they took a whole tree. Oh my god! It's dead. We're over. It's official. <laughs> Jesus, come take me. You guys suck. You had a clear shot on me. You didn't take it. Big mistake. Woo! Hey, who are these guys? They're in hoods. Oh, they look like freaking ninjas. There we go. Get out of here. These are like... Huh! Like Raza Ghoul brothers. Oh, right in the brain hole. Stop talking. We're doing. Shoot. Got 75% dead on. Let's go. He shot my hat off? Are you serious? Put my hat back on. Where did he even go? There it is. Hold on. I got to put my hat back on. All right. We're good. No, I don't. I didn't want that. Which one did I? I had this one out. You want to back out out of here? Ooh. You know, these ninjas probably have to have something good on them. Let's see. Let me see. Get it? Bro, this looks like Marston. That better not be John Marston. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Ah. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know... We should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. All right, what am I shooting at? The, the lock? I can get my weapon out. What is this? Is it this? What's the lock? Hold on, let me get on this rock. There we go. Oh, shoot. That is not it. Yo. Where's the lock? I, I'm an idiot. I don't know where it is. Can I get on top of this? 
Oh, well, he did it. <laughs> oh, it was over there. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. You'll see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Yeah, okay, whatever. Whoa, was that like what the a third three hundred thousand is that what you just said? Witness. Who's squealing? Okay. I'm out of ammo for this. Let me just get my pistol out. And f witness them. Ah! <laughs> oh God! Get up! Get up! We gotta go get that witness. Come on! Come on! You ain't getting away from me, boy. You ain't getting away from me. Come on, horse! I I know that hurt. It was a giant rock. But you gotta pick up the pace a little bit. I'll show you witness to murder. There we go. All right, you can just. You're still alive. Explain to me. Not anymore. All right. Looks like we got a Abigail mission. I'm gonna assume because it's an A. Or is it Abigail? Abi? It is. Oh, it's yeah. It's Abigail. All right. Let's go see Mr. Jan Marston's wife. But first, I'm gonna loot this guy. See, he wants to report me. He ain't doing no reporting today. What you got on you, man? Let's see here. Potion bitters. All right. I'm probably not very honorable, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. Arthur. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash. Said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. That was it? I came all the way here for you to just tell me something. Alright, now we gotta head out to where Hosea is. Alright, just a lot of travel in this game. What'd you need? Because I really wasn't listening to Abigail. <laughs> Alright, what's up, man? Something with John? Hey, Arthur. There he is. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. All right. Bye, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah. I've been there. So what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Oh! Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. 
<laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. All right. Driver, proceed, please. Gotcha, driver. <laughs> Yo, they weren't kidding when they said they'll be watching us. <laughs> They're riding in with us. It's not that serious. It's just freaking moonshine. What is that? Like a kind of beer, probably, what you want? or medicine or something. Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market. Ah, for liquor. I knew it. Mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax. I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Wait, 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 wait. She wants us to go out there and give the stuff out for free. I don't understand that, but whatever. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Yeah, we won't talk about that. Not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That's a sharp right. Could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood view. We'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Wait, what's going on? You're, you're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Why Did that on a normal basis. Put this hat on. Yo! I like that other hat better. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? No, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Trenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Huh? This is so retarded. We're here. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that shit. Probably had to come. <laughs> Come to Papa. Gentlemen, right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. 
He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now! Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton! Let's hand out the liquor. Hey, yo! It's beer time! Oh, this is one of them classy saloons. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's your lucky I'll day. have one, Fenton. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty. All right, raise glass. There we go. This sucks. Alright, I'm just getting y'all drink. Or not drunk, drink, drunk. There we go. Here you go. Oh my god, there's more? Here you go. I think this has been way more than 30 minutes. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? I got you, I got you. I feel like those waitress at the at the restaurant that always get like hit on. What is that guy doing? <laughs> Felton, for your information. Oh, snap. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was going to buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Well, no good thing lasts forever, I guess. I think three of you is gonna take us down. There's probably more outside. Yeah, me and my big mouth. There's more of them. Yo! Oh, I missed. Right in the shoulder blade. Oh. Come on in. Death is for free. Shoot. Man, you're an awful shot. Do I gotta go up with Hosea? That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, shoot! He's dead! Wielded me! Oh my god! Come on, try me. Crap, it's the only weapon I have. What? Now I'm here. I'm gonna just loot you real quick. Oh shoot, he's getting shot at. I got you. Woo! Alright, alright, alright. Right. You want some? Shoot at me from down. Oh my god, quick scout! Alright, let's go, let's go. Yo! There's a lot. Oh my god. I should have taken my little health thing. Oh shoot, you didn't die? How? Alright, let's go, let's go. Let me go. Woo! Okay! Nice going, Hosea. That man got speared. Jesus, Roman Reigns would be proud. He was like, for the big dog! <laughs> Oh shoot. Oh crap. I'm a horrible aim, which is why I should drink these so I get dead eye or chew them, just chewing tobacco. Oh, you want some too, bud? I want so I want to advise it. Woo! What? Are you like firing 
like arrows at us that are like on fire. He got me right in the neck, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know Moonshine is flammable. Uh, you you guys better get out of our way. There we go. You guys should just like give up. It's literally just beer. You can probably get more. Or not beer, alcohol, I'll say that. Bro, you've dynamite in the back of your thing. You should not be driving that with us. Go, 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 go. Woo! We made it. Oh, shoot. I thought you guys would be on the other side. I guess you weren't. Can I turn any freaking slower? I thought that man was going to get hit by the train for a minute. Oh, right in the hat. Oh, we can, we can jump on the train? Never mind. Left. Thank you. And that's him dealt with too. Uh, nope. All right, I think we're good. Exactly. Take up a career in, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. It's a possibility, though. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter.
Alright, so that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like on the like button and also subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every single time that I post a video. It's been Boris Guys on Mickey. Uh, I got more Red Dead coming out for you because this, ga this game's my life. It's all I've been playing for the past, like, what, two, three weeks it's been out? But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Good.